Welcome to Remnant Online Followers. Please kindly subscribe. Thank you. By next weekend, we are going to be in the city of Calabar for the Calabar Apostolic Invasion. You can project the flyer, project the flyer. Everyone in the city of Calabar, this is where to be. Glory to God. I'll be there with Minister Prosper and Pastor Godwin who has just ministered to you. Were you blessed? Were you blessed? Give the Lord a big hand. And of course, with Minister Austin Onumia, it's going to be a mighty moment of the Spirit from Thursday to Saturday. Come next week. Um, if you're in Calabar and you want to be part of that apostolic meeting, by tomorrow, the links will be on all our media handles. You want to volunteer to be part of the workforce, click that link, get yourself registered, and we will connect with you. I'm sure registration is already ongoing. And so if you want to be part of it, jump on, connect to it. We are going to be with you in Calabar come next weekend. Glory to God. Tonight, we are going to be praying for God's servant, Pastor Godwin. He will be planted in the city of Calabar next weekend. <laughs> I told you, most of you will be living here very, very, very soon. This is an apostolic ministry. And apostolic ministries are known for taking over territories, planting churches, and establishing the mandate of God. And at this time, it has pleased the Lord to give us the marching orders to go from different territories to establish what we are doing so that fortresses can be raised in different territories where prayers and prophetic utterances can be released to bring the mandate of the kingdom as this time necessitates in God's calendar. And so we'll be in the city of Calabar and when we are done, God's servant will be left in that city to begin to fan to flame the counsel of God that will be established in that land. You know, Paul was speaking in Titus chapter 1 verse 5. He said, for this cause left I day in Crete that you might establish the things that I have, have given to you and ordain elders who will set all things in order. So, Pastor Godwin will be left in the city of Calabar. This evening, I have some servants of God here worshipping with us. My friend, God's servant, Reverend Daniels, O Daniels, all the way from Enugu is here. Come up, God's servant. Stand with me. Let's pray for the man of God. And of course, Reverend Hughes Agbo is here. We were together in the city of Yola. He brought the word of God mightily. Come, Apostle Raymond, come up. Let's pray for God's servant as we, we, we trust God to release him into his ordination. This is the last time Pastor Godwin will be here with us on the Sunday service. So if you love him, you are going to miss him. Clap hands for Jesus. Clap hands for Jesus. Pastor Godwin, is the, he served as the director of missions. And so all our mission engagement, he's been the one powering it, bringing inspiration and, of course, oversight as touching everything we do, and he's been from glory to glory. Now he's going into the field to begin to raise, you know, altars and incense to the heavens from different territories. Can we be upstanding as a church? Stretch your hands in this direction and pray for the servant of God. He loves the Lord. He has served God for over 15 years in the house of God, and it has pleased the Father at this point to begin to entrust territories to his care. Can you pray that the Lord that has kept him in all these years will continue to show his faithfulness and that the hand of God will be mighty upon him as he goes from territory to territory to establish the kingdom of God. Go ahead and pray. Let it flow. Let it flow, let it flow. So let it flow right here, right now. Let it flow, let it flow. 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 So let it flow right here, right now. As the river flows, as the river flows, it begins to bring every that's into life. Life giving river. So let it flow right here, right now. As the river flows, as the river flows, it begins, it begins to bring every that's into life. I've given river, river. So let it flow right here, right as now. River flows, as the river flows, as the river flows, it begins to bring, it begins to bring every breath into life. Life giving river. So let it flow right here, right now. Out of the river. belly shall flow. Out of my belly shall flow. Shall flow. Rivers of living waters, hey, 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 hey. out of my belly shall flow. 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 Out of
Out of my belly shall flow. Out of my belly shall flow. Rivers, rivers of living water. Here, here, here. Let it flow, let it flow. Servants of God, let's place hands on the man of God, place hands on him, and let's speak words over him. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for your man servant that you have raised at this time. Thank you for the faithfulness that you have helped him to demonstrate. Thank you for the truthfulness. Thank you for the sincerity. And thank you for the integrity of heart. Father, thank you for over 10 years of your faithfulness over and through his life in his service in the kingdom. Thank you because no one is promoted except as he demonstrates faithfulness in little. Now it has pleased you to commit territories to his hands. Precious Father, the same grace and the same mercy that I have enjoyed serving you over these years, I transfer the same to your servant. In the name of the Lord Jesus, as you step into that land, the land opens to you. The Lord grants you speed in the name of the Lord Jesus. Outrun the chariots of Ahab in the name of the Lord Jesus. You have favor with God and you have favor with men. Everything you require, all the resources you require to make a remarkable impact in that land and beyond is hereby released unto you in the name of the Lord Jesus. And in the name of Jesus, the Lord will decree that you are a light in that territory. A candlestick planted to bring illumination into that land. The forces of that land will bow to you. The gates of hell shall not prevail against the witness of the kingdom that you will bring. In the name of the Lord Jesus, as you go forth, you shall go with the strength of many. And may the mandate of the last day apostolic church rest upon your shoulder. Your words come with authority. It comes with clarity and illumination. And it will bring direction to that land. In the name of the Lord Jesus, the kings of that land shall submit to this anointing. In the name of the Lord Jesus, by your hands, the territory will be subdued. By your voice, the sons of order will be gathered. And by the leadership of the Spirit through you, a new order will be pioneered to the glory of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. And so in the name of Jesus, we commission you and release you to go into that land and bring ministry. In the name of Jesus, we release everything we, you require unto you. In the name of Jesus, we give you wings to fly. In the name of Jesus, we garnish you with strength. We surround you with grace. And we fortify you with the power of the Most High. Go forth and shine as a light in darkness. So let it be written. So let it be established. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Give the Lord a big hand. Salute the house of God. For the last time, God bless you. thank you for your support. Thank you for your prayers. I still need your prayers. God bless you all. Give the Lord a big hand. Elohim Adonai.
to this place the Holy Ghost dropped it in my spirit to impart the grace for influence on some of you you see one of the ways the kingdom of God spreads is when he begins to put influence on his children there are some of you that God will give a voice that when you speak it will reverberate across nations and over systems on the strength of that influence that will come upon your life every little effort you put the body of Christ will spread by propensities beyond what number can capture there are some of you that God will give authority in the spirit that when you pray the laws that you will pass will impact territories so much so that the impact of your prayer will be stronger than the gathering of a hundred men see that's how kingdom moves sometimes God gives speed to some God gives a voice to others and God gives spiritual authority to others we may not be many in number to shake our generation but when God begins to give us influence the labor of one man will be compared to the labor of 10,000 something is about to happen to someone here tonight the grace for influence is about to mantle somebody you will become bigger than a thousand men you will become bigger than a hundred men it's an anointing of the Holy Ghost can you pray in the spirit now father whatever I need to do the posture I need to sustain for this grace to come upon me let the spirit scatter me onto that posture He's the Lamb of God who sits upon the throne. He alone. Kados, 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 Lord heaven let's be quiet everywhere if we can some of you are about to step into a realm where you will carry the strength of a thousand men see in the spirit men are different there are men that when they show up the impact of their presence is equivalent to institutions it is the impartation of the spirit that makes such things happen for some of you now God will give you speed speed that will take some some persons a lifetime god will give it to you to achieve things in a moment that others take a lifetime for some of you god will give you influence that when you stand the impact of your voice will be equivalent to a thousand men and for some of you god will give you authority in the spirit that any demand you make a thousand men may gather and not achieve that level of stature there is a grace coming upon this house and coming upon some of you right now that grace that amplifies men that grace that enlarges men that grace that causes men to become bigger than systems in the name of Jesus wherever they are standing now Lord you have ordained some of them already let your hand fall upon them from the left to the right from the front to the back to those watching online by the spirit carry that grace now or shall save them voices that are louder than trumpets stature of man that is in the order of angelic princes makatara katate perekida arakano velegado saleta ese sasali baragadia sodak baragadona sabila kabakata gelata bora 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 man ordained to stand and represent the body as faces as voices Capacities in the spirit. Bring them here. Oh, I'm 
you something unique and spectacular will break out of your life. And that thing will become a horn that God will exalt. Some of you is the works of your hands. Some of you, they are the giftings of the spirit that God has given to you. But a unique horn is about to be exalted. Ah. <laughs> can we lift our hands I don't want this place to become too aggressive just play only the keyboard for me God is about to breed on some of you now some of you have utterance you have been talking nobody heard something needs to come upon it some of you have many giftings you give words of knowledge you pray for the sick they are healed but you need something to come upon it some of you have very prominent businesses and careers that have remained on one spot you need something to come upon it god is about to breathe on you now that horn is about to be exalted and the Holy Ghost is about to bring light and illumination upon that which he has given to you. Everywhere in this auditorium and those connected online now, the breath of the Almighty is coming. Father, this is the hour where beggars will become veterans. Weak men will be made valiant in battle. This is the hour we are giftings of men will be sharpened and we are light will be brought upon it. Everyone here that you have appointed for this encounter, Holy Ghost, let the weight of glory come upon them now. Touch! Touch! Ushers, please help them. Ushers, please help them. Ushers, help them. The wind of the Spirit. And on to you, we lift our voice in praise. You are the Lamb. You are the Lamb upon the throne. For you are the Lamb. The land of the throne, and on to, to you and we lift our voice in praise. You are the land of the throne. Those of you by my right here, can you lift your hand? I'm seeing something like a wave of the spirit sweeping through this place and it's a horn for ministry I'm seeing men come under strange anointings, strange powers strange dimensions authority and influence take that grace now help mama Thank you for watching. Please kindly like, comment, subscribe, and turn on your notification bell so you always get notified whenever we post a new video. And don't forget to share. Thank you.